back to another episode of Catharsis Inc. for Witchy Wednesday on Inbulk. Today is my first Inbulk as a forest witch, so I have a lot of things planned, like I'll be making suets for my feathered and furry forest friends. I'll be doing an Inbulk tarot spread. I will also be making decorations in order to redecorate my altar for Inbulk. I will also be making a hearty soup for dinner, as well as an in-ball honey cake. And I will top off the evening by making a milk bath salt for a milk bath salt ritual. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I start decorating my altar, I'm going to be making some decorations. The first thing I'm going to be making is a Bridget Cross. And since I don't have any reeds or straw, I'm going to be using white pipe cleaners to do it. And here is my final product. I've adorned the Bridget Cross with some green ribbon because green is one of the colors of Inbulk. And if you don't know how to make a Bridget Cross, I will link a video in the description below. It does look semi-intricate, but it's actually very easy. So this will make a perfect decoration for my Inbulk altar. Now I'm going to be making a nature-themed candle holder. I found this bird-looking decor at Michael's as well as these strands of ivy. And then I had some leftover deer moss from a project I did during the summer. And then of course I have three tapered candles. And here is the final product. It makes a cute little nature themed candle holder to celebrate in bulk. And since the majority of this decor is flammable, be sure to supervise it at all times and also secure your candles so they don't fall over. In addition to making crafts for my altar, I also went ahead and redecorated my altar. This is what it looked like before when I decorated it for Yule. And then this is what it looks like now for in bulk. And as you can see, I added my bird nest candle holder and then my Bridget Cross is up there. I also have a Bridget tapestry that I was gifted. And then I added cream color flowers and red berries. A bundle of cinnamon sticks to represent the fire element. And then just adorned it with my pestle and mortar my singing bowl, my incense holder, my cauldron, my crystal wand, and then as you can see I have my crystal holders in the back. And I think it turned out really nice. For in bulk, I also pulled a in bulk tarot spread, and this is what I pulled, and I'll show you an example here. So your first card will be here, and this represents pause. What do I need to see now that I have not noticed or have been avoiding? Your second card here is for purify. What aspect of my life needs to be cleared out? Your third card here represents sacrifice. What should I let go of to facilitate this clearing? Fourth card equals so. Where can my energy and intentions be most effectively focused? Fifth card is here, and that stands for grow. What is stirring in me that needs to be honored? And then your last card represents nurture. How can I best nurture myself and others at this time? So like I said, this is my uh, personal spread. So if you'd like to check this out, I will leave the example for you here. Since in bulk is the time to start planning your gardens and your harvests, and since I don't have a garden, I have tons of indoor plants. So I'm going to be celebrating in bulk by replanting some of the plants that I have.
since I'm a four switch, I thought I would also make some nice little treats for the feathered and furry friends in my backyard. I found this nice little recipe on the National Audubon Society website. And I know there's mixed reviews on whether or not to give birds peanut butter, but the society is saying it is okay. So I will link the recipe that I used in the description down below. But I have melted the shortening and the peanut spread here. And then it calls for cornmeal in addition to oats and bird seed, but I didn't have any of that. So I just added more bird seed. And then you pour your melted mixture into your bird seed. And I used crunchy nut spread, so that's why there's little pieces of nuts in there. But then I'm gonna stir it up here. And then once it's all stirred up, I actually have this cute little froggy mold that I'm going to be putting the bird seed mixture in, and then I'm going to refrigerate it for an hour or two, tie a ribbon on it, and then stick it on some of the trees out in my backyard. Just for a nice little in bulk treat for my furry and feathered friends. So I have my mixture nice and packed in there, and now I'm going to be adding toothpicks, to the mold just so it leaves a hole so I can tie a little piece of twine in there so I'm able to hang them up. There we go, so I'm gonna be putting them in the fridge for about an hour or two. So now that my suets are hardened, they turned out really good. These are the little cute little froggies that I'm gonna use for my feathered friends since they're smaller. And then I also made some bigger ones for my furry forest friends. So, the toothpick idea didn't turn out as well, so I just tied some twine around the frog's neck and I'll hang it up like this. And we can't celebrate a holiday without a meal, at least not in my household. We love food here. So I'm going to be making a hearty sausage lentil soup for dinner. And you will need the following ingredients. One pound of fresh pork sausage, two medium onions chopped, one garlic clove minced, two cups dry lentils, a half teaspoon of dried basil, half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of dried marjoram, 16 ounce can of stewed tomatoes, one quart no salt added tomato juice, one quart of water, and four beef sodium free bouillon cubes. So first I'm going to be browning my sausages and I had these particular sausages in my freezer. So I'm just gonna use those up. And they're just little sausage links. So I'm gonna put them in my pot. Get those cooking and brown them up. And then once they're done cooking, you're gonna remove them from the stove and drain the fat off of those. Now that the sausage is finished, I took it out of the pan and drained it and then put it on a plate. And I'm going to put it to the side because once it cools, I'm going to cut them up into about a half inch thick slices. And then the next step is add your onions and garlic to your pot and then cook five minutes or until onions and garlic are tender. Now I don't have fresh onion and garlic, so I'm going to be using garlic powder and minced onion for mine. So I'm gonna skip to the next step, which is stirring everything together in your pot. So that's when you'll put in your tomato juice, your water, your lentils, your diced tomatoes, and all your seasoning. 
So now I have everything in my pot and I went ahead and cut up the sausages and put them in as well. So at this point, you're gonna wanna let it simmer for about 30 minutes or until the lentils are tender. In addition to the lentil soup, I'll also be making an in-bulk honey cake and you'll need the following items. First, you're going to boil the coffee, honey, brown sugar, and granulated sugar, and then allow it to cool. Then in a separate bowl, combine the eggs, oil, and lemon and orange juice. In a third container, combine the rest of your dry ingredients. Now we are going to add the coffee mixture to the egg mixture. Stir that around. And then we'll add the dry ingredient mixture until all is well blended. So I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time and stir that around. Then we are going to pour our batter into a greased and floured nine by 12 inch pan. It smells really good guys. I'm not sure why it looks so lumpy. Hopefully I didn't screw this up like the blueberry galette that I made for you. I'm not the best baker, so we'll have to see how this turns out. Hopefully better than the blueberry galette because that did not turn out good at all. And then we are going to be putting it in the oven at 350 for approximately an hour and 10 minutes. I just had to show you guys how it's turning out because it smells delicious. And as you can see around the edges are turning golden brown. And I don't think it's gonna need the entire hour and 10 minutes. So I'll let you guys know when it's done. So I've taken the cake out and there's about 20 minutes to spare. So it takes about 50 minutes to cook, I would say. And I put a knife in the middle, as you can see the hole there, and it came out clean. So that means the center is clean. So I'm gonna let that cool. And then when I serve it, I'll cut it up, of course. And then I think I'm gonna garnish it with some powdered sugar. So I'll let y'all know how it turns out. The soup and the cake are finished, and I'm really proud how the cake turned out. I did a really good job, surprisingly. <laughs> um, but I adorned it with powdered sugar, like I said I was going to, and the soup looks delicious as well. So I'll let you know how everything tastes. Now I'm going to finish off this evening with a Milk Ritual in bulk bath. So I'm going to be making my own bath salts. And for that, you will need a jar, which I purchased at the Dollar Tree. You're going to be needing some coconut milk powder, baking soda, pure Epsom salt, sea salt, four different bowls for mixing, then birch essential oil, fir essential oil, 
and orange essential oil. And I will link the recipe in the description down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and enjoyed hanging out with me for my first in bulk. I put intention into everything that I did and I felt really fulfilled on this Sabbath. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.